Hey everybody, Beagle 3280 here, welcome you guys here on Coffee. Um, well, at start, and it'll eventually go to YouTube soon, but I want to tell you guys that I have a couple of big news announcements, and I'm going to start with the first one. So, I've been thinking about how my video structure layouts were looking, and how I want to get a new camera set up so I can do some more like real time or like FaceTime stuff, but after I thought about it, I decided that I found I was going to try something different. I found a program called Reactive for Discord, and as long as I'm at Discord calls, this will appear whenever I'm on uh, on the thing there. <laughs> Didn't it meet? Uh, these pictures were actually made by my great friend uh, Becky or Rebecca. Um. I said I was going to try this out for a little bit, see how everybody likes it, see how I get along with it, and if it becomes a popular enough thing, then it'll stick around. You're probably wondering what the other big news is. Well, a brand new Let's Play series is coming, because Link Between Worlds, by the time that this becomes live on, well, on YouTube at least, will have been over. What new series am I going to, you may be wondering? Let's play Ape Escape 2. Now, there's a couple of things to do want to get out of the way. Number one thing is, this is going to be the PAL version, as this is the only version I'm able to play because of the Play Store does not carry the NTSC version. Although I do have a lot more memories of the NTSC version, this is the only way I can really report it. The second thing is, is that I will be playing through this game to the fullest. This means every monkey table, every concept art, every enemy photo, every comic strip, everything in the game. I know it's going to seem boring, but I will have a structured layout for you guys, set up and delivered in episode 1. Which will be live probably soon after this video goes live here on top. So if you're ready for that, be sure to uh, subscribe and I'll see you guys whenever we do episode one.